Okay, so I'm here with John Biggs, and we are bringing back our time one experimental step at a time. We are doing today is we're making a visual show as well as an audio show, so uh, bear with us as we experiment. But what you should be doing is seeing stuff on the screen. Um, so you're seeing it, what it is that we're talking about. That is the idea. Um, so you'll hear us chat, but you'll also have something to look at. Um, and you'll be able to follow along with us because so much of what we're speaking about is quite visual. If you just hear about it, you're not going to get the full experience. Um, and this is ideally going to evolve. John, what's been going on with you since we last recorded? It's been quite some time. Yeah, we haven't. I've been uh, writing more for Wristwatch Review, focusing a little bit more on that stuff. Uh, and I've tried to stay in with the old watcheroonies. 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 But I just, I, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I, I haven't felt it since we stopped our. Uh, you haven't felt it. We, we got to get you back. We got to get you yeah, back in the saddle. Back, back into the love. Yeah. So okay. So what I thought we should do first is just sort of go over um, some of the important articles that we've published recently in a blog to watch or anything else. It's just sort of like a news recap here. Um, Let's start. Let's look at this Frederic Constant watch here. The Constant Classics Art of Porcelain. Now, is it just me, or did they make a little mistake here on the dial, where they write Fit Main, which probably has something to do with porcelain, but it just looks what, too much like Fat Man. Man. Are you saying Main? Yeah. What does that mean in French? That means handmade. Hold on. Oh, okay. Wait, where does it say that? It, uh, right on the dial. So it says Frederic Constant Geneva, and then under the hands it says handmade porcelain enamel automatic. And it, it doesn't look bad. I just think it's funny because literally in English looking at it, it just feels like it says Fat Man. It says Bat Ma Fat Man. <laughs> it does say Fat Man. <laughs> uh... But it's a nice watch, and I'm glad to see that Frederic Constant is coming out with uh, their enamel yeah, it's dial. Handmade. It just says handmade. I get that. I don't think it's necessary to say that. It says Fat Man, yeah. But it says Fat Man. I mean, <laughs> you know, can't they just write handmade? Everything else is in English here. Yeah, you know, right. porcelain Porce enamel, automatic English. Why would, Why do you want to switch it up with a different language all yeah, of a sudden? Porce porcelain uh, enamel. Porcelain for, enamel. For about 2200 bucks, it's got their... Porcelain um, enamel is porcelain enamel in French. Okay. So that's all. So now we, now we know. Um, it's not an in-house movement, which is a little odd for them, but I think they're just trying to keep the price down. I think it's good that they're doing stuff like that, but it's just funny to see these like little, uh, I don't want to call them a mistake, but I'll call it a little bit of an oversight, which can actually prevent people from buying a watch, you know? You don't people, want the Fat Man watch? I might want the Fat Man watch, but I'm just saying there's been instances where people haven't bought something, uh, because of text on the dial. I know that that's happened for sure. I don't. I don't know what's going on with this Hamilton, uh, this this khaki, this frogman. It's a cool looking watch. I just can't decide whether or not um, this is what people are looking to Hamilton for right now. This is the the frogman that I'm looking at right here that has. I guess that's a a helmet on the back. I thought that like was. A, a few, it looks like a. Wait, go back to that. Go up a little bit higher. What is that? Are those goggles? Yeah, so I think it's upside down, but th I thought this was the helmet. This is the goggles. No, no, that's no, no. the breathing Flip it part. Over. Flip it over, because look at it. That's the, that's I, the breathing I get part. it. So it's just yeah. the, the picture, it would just happen to be upside down there. Yeah, it looked, it looked, like, a, it looked like a little guy's helmet with like... Him, this him. looks like the helmet, and that looks like yeah. he's sitting in <laughs> something. That looks, that looks I don't know. Like his hog. Um, what do they want for this thing? This thing is about... Okay, so it's about let's just say you know fifteen hundred or thousand bucks. This forty-six millimeter wide version. This is the this is the one that you know they want people to look at. Um, you know, here's the thing. I, I really can't get enough dive, dive watches in my life. I can't. But there's certain things that I see from time to time that I always wonder who's interested in it. And right here, I'm gonna talk about this um, crown lock mechanism here, which is obviously simply engineered to kind of look cool, right? Mm -hmm. And and some of the other ones like have this little chain going on. Now, I much prefer this structure here that isn't a dangling chain. But I'm just wondering, um, you know, if are there people looking for these? They say to themselves, you know, I want to watch with which extra stuff on the side. And and I'm going to give Hamilton credit for engineering what is probably you know, one of the most you know, modern you know, looking ones. People want stuff on the side. They're fine with stuff on the side. That that yeah, this is a very modern. This is a very modern watch, and it's and it's very unusual for Hamilton. Because Hamilton's kind of focused primarily on their 
on their iron the their the watches that look like from World War II Doughboy. Uh, they do that uh, well, but okay. So here's something like so the movie, The Martian came out, and there was a Hamilton watch in The Martian, and it was a Hamilton watch. It was produced like. I don't know, at least six or seven years ago, it was their Sub-Zero watch. They had nothing to do with space travel, but they had this watch in that movie for a brief second. And I can just imagine the situation. Oh, there we go. There's the, the goggles. I can imagine a situation where the the producers of the movie, actually, I think we have an article of this. I'm going to I'm gonna go to it right away here. We had, let's see here, the Mar Hamilton Mars. Maybe I should type in the Martian. There we go. Okay. So they had this below zero watch in the Martian where Matt Damon wears it for a split second somewhere. And it's this watch. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can just imagine the producers of the movie sitting down, looking through the catalog, think to themselves like what watch fits in. And this one, the, the below zero, as old as it is, I think they were just like, it looks kind of modern and spacey. So... Even though Hamilton, yes, gets by with most of its, uh, you know, sales, I think, on these more classic style stuff, they need more modern watches so they're going to be able to fit into these movies. Yeah. Right. So they need they need a they need a future watch. Is that what so they're this is for? what I'm saying. Yeah. This 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 frog man has a destiny to be in some movie that we have yet to imagine. So what so what you should be is you should be the watch the watch guy. So like Sean Penn, no, not Sean Penn, Michael Penn. Is the music guy for all the hipster movies nowadays? You know, know Michael Penn? Um, no, not he's not he's not the he's not the pen. From, he's not uh, Sean Reservoir. Penn. He's not Sean Penn. Nor is he the pen from Reservoir Dogs. He's the pen who was a musician. Okay, and so what and does he do exactly? He picks all the he picks all the hipster music. Uh, he, picks he picks hipster, all the hipster music. music for for like girls the, ep the episodes of girls and like for for movies about hipsterness. Uh, yeah, it's not, he's not Sean Penn nor is he Chris Penn. So you could be the guy who picks the watches for movies. Okay, I'd be happy to do that. I think that would be a, an honor. Um, speaking <laughs> of watches for movies, th this is okay. So last year we wrote about the initial Antoine Peugeot show. <laughs> turbion of turbion, turbion of turbions. This year they came. I actually saw this watch in person. I didn't get a chance to take pictures of it, but the chronometer turbion of turbions. Now, I can't help but love this watch. Are you? Do you understand what this watch does? Well, you gotta, you gotta flip. You gotta turn your turbion as you turn your turbion. You tur okay. So there's essentially, if you look at the dial here, there's three turbions, mm -hmm. and then the entire dial itself is a turbion. Yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. And I have to ask you, is this in fact the tourbillon of tourbillons? I would I would argue that you need five or six tourbillons. Uh, you need and, five or six? Yeah. You need, you it need, it you was need funny because I remember when I was speaking, I think it was um, with his son, uh, Florian, I think was his name. Um, he's going to hate me if I forgot his name. Uh, it's Florian. Thank God. So, mm -hmm. and this is when the initial one came out. It's actually loading slow, which is funny. I think it's because we're having a conversation on Skype. Uh, everyone, we're this is this is a new process here that we're doing, recording this way. So we're we're gonna learn the kinks together. Okay. So he, I remember him looking at me and saying, "You know, Ariel, four turbions not so complicated, but three is really where it gets hard." And I remember like not quite understanding, <laughs> but thinking it was very funny that that somehow if you went down to an odd number versus an even number, it just completely you know changes the game. Do you remember the Do you remember the first turbion of turbions? I don't remember the I don't remember the first turbion. All right, so here's the here's it? the turbion of turbions. I don't I don't even know if we end up talking about. It. So here it is from from last year, and you can see. I think there's a little video here. It's actually really cool looking. Here we go. Here's a little video from Instagram. You can see it moving. Can you see that going around? It's pretty fancy. Yes. Yeah. And what I like about this is that the the, thing. the entire dial, I think it turns like once every 10 minutes or something like that. So it's not slow. So you're just seeing constant movement going on. And it's so, abundantly clear that, that all that needs to happen because there are so many, so many necessary. You need, you need that many turbions because you can't – what's going to happen if you don't have that many turbions? You can't impress watch? people without this many turbions. Yeah. Like if I were to go – if I were to be a um, – if I were to be like an active oil oligarch – and I needed to murder two or three people. You can't just do that with one turbion. You need that five turbion. That I don't even know what to say experience. to that. But yes, if yeah. you are going to buy and sell lives, you need to have as many <laughs> turbions packed into your watch as possible. Turbion. 
I mean, essentially, the tourbillon is the complication of buying and selling human beings. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that's what we've established. Yeah, so, that's, okay, that's so the, the chronometer tourbillon, tourbillon, it's ad chronometer certification. Well, let, let's be honest. Let's be honest. That's impressive because watches like this that have this level of complexity, no one expects for them to ever be accurate. They just expect for them to work. But if you can do all this stuff and actually make it a decently performing wristwatch, for me, that's impressive. Is it possible for is Can you use it? Yeah. It's legible. It's chronometer certified. It says chronometer. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just saying it's 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 the idea where you're combining this high level of technical expertise, which admittedly it has, but you're also assuring people it also, you know, is something that you can actually use to tell the time. Mm-hmm. It's 420,000 Swiss francs. A okay, bargain. That's that's like what is that? That's like forty-five Canadian dollars, right? That's that's a little bit more than that. Okay, um, well, that's what I actually like about it is that the original one was three hundred and eighteen thousand, uh, up to four twenty with diamonds. Now you can get it without diamonds for four hundred twenty thousand. I just oh, feel a lot okay, better nice. about that. That's <laughs> good. So speaking of speaking of expensive watches, we're going to just change to the bull of a curve, which is an equally impressive timepiece, but for a mainstream. Um, and the the thing here that you'll see is the world's first curved chronograph movement. And my question for you, John, is why have it why hasn't anyone done this before? A curved chronograph movement. A curve, a slightly curved chronograph movement. Oh, here's where we're going. Uh oh. Why has you know this not happening? happened before? Well, you know why it's happening now because all the all the phones are curved. So Belova's like, yeah, let's just do. Uh, why does it? Well, why does it? Hasn't it happened before? Because your angles would be wrong when you make your when you make your watch hands. If they figured it out, then God bless them. But we've had curved watch hands for quite some time now. Not curved in this way. Look at how curved that is. That's These, so curvy. No, I mean, I think. Really do we need to have a curve off? I think we could. If, I, we, if you show me, if you show me curvier ones, you show me curvier ones, and I'll I'll show. I have to oh. say, I do like it when there is a curved dial on a watch. Not There are watches from time to time that have curved dials or, or domed dials, for that mm-hmm. matter. And when the hands curve with the face, I like that a lot. When they're not curved, I find it cheap and tawdry. So this this Bull of a Curve collection, I think it debuts with, I want to say, 12 different versions. There's sort of these more modern-looking ones and then um, ones such as this that a little bit more department store, but I think the right person can enjoy this look. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know where Bulova is going to continue. And I, said, I guess the question is, in an age of smartwatches, when consumers are faced with even more options now and choices and things like that, you have a watch like this that's under $1,000. It's quartz. It has a proprietary movement that no one else has. It's got that 262 hertz one, so it's you know much more accurate than even your standard quartz watch. It's got a lot of cool tech. They, they have some these more modern versions here. Um, I love this. I love the exhibition case pack. You ever see that exhibition case pack on a quartz yeah, watch? You, yeah, look at all the amazing uh, co- coils. <laughs> well, it just is what it is, right? You know what I mean? They're not trying to make it fancy, but um, well, look. Well, I mean, so so you got you really got two you got two opportunities here. So so in in the past couple of years, have you seen we we haven't done the show for about a year, right? It hasn't been that long, but it's been quite some time. So in the past in the past few months, have you seen? Have you seen a slowdown in fashion watches, generally? I, you know, that's a good question. I th- I thought for so many years there's just been too many fashion watches produced. Like we'd go to Basel and these shows, and I, I honestly like it wouldn't surprise me if twenty or thirty thousand new watches comes out each year, just between all the random brands. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but as as I'm as I'm paying more attention to these watches, I'm actually seeing. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of uh, Kickstarter watches, which are fine. I mean, the Kickstarter watches are just kind of like some dude who wants to make a watch. But is that a fashion watch? That's a fashion watch. That's a fashion watch. I'm looking. I have I have four of them right on my desk right now. What are you looking at? Let's let's pull this up. I'm on looking the at the Zis Zis Nano. What? Zis Nano. I don't know how to spell that. Z i s a n z o. Okay, Z i s. Z i s. Yeah. Nano? Uh, yeah, it's awful. A Z I S. Yeah. Zisan Zinsano. Zisanzo. Zisanzo. Oh, Zisan Zin. Okay. Zisanzo. There it is. Let's go to their site here. Ziz. I can't even pronounce that. Ziz Zisanzo. 
The time is now. Well, okay. Like, let's 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 give them let's give them the. So here's oh, here's God. an interesting thing. Go oh, up God. a little bit. Don't don't. I would have already closed you, the page before you puke. Don't don't just relax. The black go bar. Go up a little bit. Go go up a little bit and see what they always do. A little, a little further down. Okay. See the see the see the our process. Our process includes everybody, nothing. Everybody is fighting. The power. We've crossed out all the important elements, <laughs> like retailer markup. Well, okay. Well, look at that. The retailers are cut out of this business. Try to produce. We sell. You enjoy. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna give these guys the benefit of the doubt because they're they're small. They're selling for about a hundred bucks. This is the kind of fashion watch I can get behind. It's a hundred bucks. It's not gonna it's not gonna destroy you. But you go in like you buy a fossil for five hundred and you and you and you're a jerk. But if you buy this, it's fine because you're helping some dude out. Here's here's the problem. Okay. Yeah. I am fully cognizant that a watch like the Nova mm -hmm. costs them in the vicinity of dollars to produce. Dollar, right? Let's go. Let's go. No, it is. It's literally dollars. Nothing is here dollar? is custom. Okay, this is a stock case. They've got a nice little laser engraving of whatever that logo is on the crown there. Okay, nothing here is particularly unique. The dial is, I mean, yeah. If you like it, that's great. It is a fashion watch. I will give fashion you that. Fashion watch, 100%, 100%. The reason that I would never write about this is that it does nothing for me. This alone basically says, well, you have to wear a watch. I don't have to wear a watch. I choose to wear a watch. And I don't choose to wear something like this because it does nothing for me. So for me, I'd rather wear nothing than this because it's, all it says is I'm open-minded to small brands uh, in industries that I don't understand meaning I'm not cognizant enough to know that there's a dozen watches out there with the exact same case and similar dials that have some other name on it. Well, let's get, okay. Well, see, you're, you're, I've, I've, I've softened in my uh, age. The canvas collection. And you've gotten, and you've gotten harder. Ooh. I know. It's, it's, oh yeah, it's all <laughs> What's with this of... minimalist thing going? I don't understand it. Okay. So, okay. That's the Zinzana. What else are you looking at? Uh, I got an a AVI 8. The AV8? Okay, which one? AV8, yeah. I we actually like the, a lot of their stuff. AV8. It's, it's clever. Good. Dash 8. There you go. I know AV8. I, 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 again, I'm not a fan of all their stuff, but some of the things I like so much. So this one, for example, the Flyboy. Whoops. This one we reviewed on a blog to watch a little while automatic? back. Not, th not this color. Not this color, but it's just got a nice mechanical movement, clean dial. These are, are yeah. a little bit more sporty looking. I can stand behind this. If someone wants to get one of these, it's like a lower priced mechanical watch. It's legible. It's yeah. cool. It comes with two straps. I can stand behind this. So go up to the other watches. I think it's the, what is this one? What is it? I can't even read it. Um, it's the one with all the buttons. Oh, that helps. Hawker, no, no. Hawker Hurricane. Hawker. Like there this is. one isn't bad either. This one what is here. That? That's a that's a quartz. Oh yeah. The pro the problem here is like, what is the problem here? Like, th there's so little actual blue on the hands. Yeah, I kind of really forgot that this now I'm in a hand there. There it is, right over there. The Hawker Hurricane. Go up. See it? Uh, right no, it just has a bunch up of reference corner. numbers. No, over on the other side. On the other side. Yeah, no, a little further down. We, we, go, we keep we, going. We need to share control. Go up a little bit. Uh, God, this is awful. Right in the corner. Go in the corner. Left, left corner. The other left. The other up. left. Up. This blue and blue and black one. This right thing. There. Click that. Yeah. Doesn't say Hawker Harrier. There we go. Hawker, yeah, Hawker, Hawker Hurricane. Hurricane, Hurricane so is, Carrier. So this has got a day and date. It's got the little. Oh, that's it's, nifty. It's got the little stinker there that that's goes. That's nifty there. What I believe What's they're doing quartz? is they're they're spinning a they have they have a they have a disc underneath there. With, with those kind of like twir lines. the twirly yeah. thing going on. Yeah. Spiral. A little spiral on the back. It's which it's is a cute. clever little thing. I mean, it's the, the clever, thing here yes. is this this yellow line. This is just for fashion. It's fun. Well, that, it doesn't, that doesn't do symbolizes, anything. That symbolizes the max G-forces you can go. Oh, okay. What's going on here? Under the days of the week, there's something. What does that say? <laughs> I, think that says, I think that says Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I think that's the guy who made it. <laughs> Why? I think that's the guy who made it. I don't know. What does <laughs> no, it say? Seriously, I why does it say? Can't... I have it in my hand right now, and I can't even tell what it says. <laughs> is that an L? Is that an O? Lee? Lee Go to Lee? the overview. What does it say? What does the overview say? No. This is how um, fast. Uh, this is this is what we do, everyone. This Ellie, is the... there you go. There you go. Lastly, in the subtle tour of the RAF garden, which was the first that Bader commanded, the LE marking scene. Go down. Uh huh. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, the Ellie markings seen in this Hawker Hurricane are subtly etched above the six o'clock index. Subtly, huh? It is pretty. Subtly. And but what about That's... the other thing? Is that like a little? It's like a subsidiary target sign. <laughs> I mean, so you it's can L L E target. Is that a pie. D at the end? I think that's a pie. A pie? I think it's a pie pie symbol. Okay. That's so, allows, it is it a limited maximum. edition? Uh, it's coming out. I guess it's coming out recent. New. It's like brand new. It hasn't. Come what out I think yet. is funny is this is lastly in a subtle tribute to the two four two R F squadron, which was the first that Bader commanded. The Ellie markings, as soon as uh, Hawker Hurricane LLC are suddenly etched, but it doesn't explain what Ellie even means. Huh. What does that have to do with Sir Douglas Bader? Uh, what is an Ellie marking? I mean, usually that stands Bader. for limited edition. Just, just saying. Well, I got, I just, I spelled Why Bader is wrong. it that when you talk to AV8, you don't ask for the mechanical watches? That's what I do. You know what I did? See, I. I'm so I'm gonna I'm gonna oh Sir Douglas Bader's V seventy four sixty seven L E D, that's what it was. It was L E D. Oh, okay. That was his. That was his plane, I guess. Okay, that so was not else. at all well. And I discovered this. I discovered this by looking at a hobbyist's, a hobbyist's magazine, called Hurricane. And okay, I'm gonna go ahead and point to things like this Flyboy AV four zero two one. As being a good thing to get from Aviate. You see that? Yeah, that's pretty. Now, everyone um, who's listening to the show, I want you to sort of consider what it is we're doing here uh, by basically shopping for watches in a sense, kind of like browsing and talking about what it is we like and what we, we aim. This is something that we want to do more of if you like this style, this vicarious shopping, if you will. Um, yeah, specifically, let, let us know. know if you like this thing. We can thing. go to Aviate's website constantly. Actually, this isn't bad. I'm not a huge fan of the Milanese here, just because in general it's, it pulls yeah. my hair. But look, for for I don't even know what this would actually translate into. 275. That's probably about 300, 400 bucks. 350. I don't think. I, I listen. I, I think brands like this, you get a lot of um, you know, the discounts here and there. But look, you got a decently sized case, 43 millimeters, exhibition case back. You got a a Miyota mechanical movement here. You got nice applied. Like uh, hour indicators here and hands. It's it's just a clean looking dial. It looks good. See, Aviate, Aviate, I would go for it. The reason why I picked the the Hawker here, I said whatever. Just send me the Hawker. new one or whatever. So they send me the new one. I'm 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 doing more of this stuff on Wrist Watch Review. I'm trying to be a little more active. This is the Flyboy. This is the one that I reviewed a little while like ago. The, right you here, like the Flyboy. I like the Flyboy. That's fly what I used boy. to call you in high school, old Flyboy little Adams. Bit. A little bit. Hawker, there's a hawker. Okay, so there's a hawker hunter, hawker harrier two, hawker hurricane. This is getting confusing. Who needs to say hawker so much? I actually, they did. Avia did send me a watch. I'm not sure if we'll be able to. Uh, when we'll be able to write about it. It is a hawker something, and it has a, a system. Apparently, they patented. I'm looking for it on their site. I'm not sure if it's there, or if I'm even allowed to speak about it. But it allows you to change the time by moving the bezel. Does that sound appealing uh, to you? Ah, uh, what if you hit the bezel? You know what I want to talk about real quick before what? we close tell up? Me, tell me. Go over to wristwatch review. Okay. I want to tell the world. Tell the world. Scroll down a little bit. I'm going. Whoa. Scroll down, scroll wow. Down. See that big red dobo donate button? That's uh, amazing. Keep going. Keep going. Keep <laughs> okay. going. I got guns on there. I got everything. I'm I've I've gone nuts. I'm keep going. Keep I'm going. not even sure what I'm looking for. Just keep going. I'm Barnabies. Right there, look right there. Um, Apple does nylon straps right, and I want to tell the world. Click the click the ah, nylon straps. You know, we can talk about this. I have one of these straps right in front of me. Can you tell? Can, I'm touching they it. have they I'm have beat it. they have they have beat everybody and their dog to the nylon strap race. Hundred percent. These nylon straps are the best I've I'm, ever seen. I'm touching one right now in my hand, actually. Yes. Um, it is amazing. Okay, so let this, me let me just give this the slight. I don't want to call it a critique because overall, I I agree with you hundred percent that these are very good straps. The, here's my here's my concern, and you look at this one right here. Um, each one has four distinct colors. Yeah. And the one I have in my hand is a sort of blue, right? Now this one in the darker tones is is fine. So it's like gray. But I love the quality of these things. They feel comfortable, but they're thick. I'm just wondering why they had to go with these kind of strange looking color palettes. It's it's distinctive and maybe it's fashionable, but I just I want more um 
I want to call them solid colors. Like it's 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 almost as though they were sort of showing off this technique of look, we can put these colors together, but it. I don't know. What do you think about that? It's, I it, think I think you're I think you're picking nits because I think I'm it was I think it's a I think it's a superior it's a superior product. Okay. I just wanted a, to, I wanted to have product. the one small complaint before we went into saying positive things about because I I definitely agree that it looks. So, I will actually go. To, is is there a link here to the Apple site? Uh, somewhere up on top, maybe. Maybe. I want to go. Even, to, I want to show the different colors. I didn't even here. link to Apple. No, I didn't. Yeah, go to show the other colors. Apple. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny when you type in. It's gonna auto 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 connect us to some kind of like some one of the sites that you go to visit often. Watch stuff. Yeah, watch. Okay, stuff. there's one. Of the, there's the kind of goldish one looking here. Gold. Oh, here. Um, go to the watch. You gotta go to personalization. Oh, there you. Whatever. There you go. There's some bands. Look at go these over, bands. Go over dude. to mix it up. We're gonna go to mix Apple, it up a little bit. Apple has done the bands right. They, ha they all did. of them are amazing quality. I I, I have to Wolven agree with nylon, you. It's, it okay, so here we go. Here's the seven seven colors here. Um, they come both. Okay, so let let me just let's just start with some context. We like these straps. Let's just talk about wh where these even came from. Why did Apple produce woven nylon straps for the Apple Watch? Because it's basically a NATO strap. They tried to they tried to copy the NATO strap, but they did it in such a specific and premium way that every other NATO strap now looks like a piece of garbage. Well, okay, so explain that. There's a lot of meaning into what you into what you just said. I mean, the let's just everyone so knows the NATO strap. The NATO strap. The NATO strap is the most popular. Is I'm the just going to go here and show the NATO right watch. Oh, okay. Let's see here on it's images. Very, uh, it's very hip to have a NATO strap. On okay, your watch. so these are NATO straps. This is this right here is a perfect example. Uh, it's, it's, it's cheap. Made of nylon. Yeah. It's made of woven nylon. The, and an important part, if you look here, it's one long piece. There's, there's no, there are two pieces of strap and a, a NATO style strap that actually has nothing to do with NATO is one piece. Here's a good example right here. And the idea is that if the lugs, the spring bar on one end of the lugs breaks, the watch will still, still be dangling by the other yeah. side. So the, 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 the G10, which is actually a British design, the notion was to have something cheap, durable, and create a little bit more safety for the watch so that it doesn't accidentally come, up, come off your wrist if one of these sides breaks. Okay? And recently they've become popular because they've been a very inexpensive way of making uh, boring vintage watches look okay to wear. Mm -hmm. And also not boring vintage watches, okay, they wear. So, for example, let's say here are these these George Jensen ones. Um, you take a actually, I like I like these designs, quite minimalist. But you have a very minimalist look, and then they put like kind of a colorful thing on yeah, here, and it looks a very, like a, it's a very preppy. It's a very preppy look now because of these colors. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 preppy and it's it's all that. Um, like the but, original NATO was basically black and gray. Yeah. So right okay, so these have been popular for a variety of reasons. And Apple said, well, we have, you know, and Apple's been trying to sort of, I don't want to say recreate in their own way, but borrow from the watch world good concepts and then introduce them into their own, um, you know, their own collection for the Apple Watch as well as they can. And I agree with you that they've taken pretty much every strap they've had and, you know, gone and made them as good as possible. The classic buckle, for example, which is just leather, it's 150 yeah. bucks, but for 150 bucks, it's hard to find a better strap. Yeah. Anyways, so going back to the woven nylon, compared to your your standard, um, I'll say, NATO strap, these are much thicker. Like I would say easily, maybe like twice as thick. Twice as uh, thick. Between twice and thirty percent no, no, is, is thick. thick. You know, thick. This is twice. I'm looking at I'm looking at a cheap NATO strap right okay. now. Okay, I mean NATO On, straps. There's different. No, they're not. You know, there there are thicker yeah, ones yeah. out there. Um, rather than it being uh one piece, it's obviously two pieces here. It has a traditional Ardillon style buckle, and like the Apple made this um brushed rather than polished, and that's a nice little look there. Um, and they're comfortable. So for me, compared to the Sport Band, this is the only other what I would say truly water resistant of the Apple um straps, which of course is an irony because the Apple Watch itself is not water resistant, but at least your strap is if you are a sweaty, sweaty bastard. Tense. Yeah. So I mean, I think I think I think your argument about the colors, the multiple colors in there, I don't think that's I don't think that's that's it valuable. just makes it difficult because if you love blue, does that mean you love this blue? Like well, you if you gotta, love pink, do you like do you, well do you, I want purple? do you know how many they they probably they probably picked colors. They probably they probably Connected uh, con things into people's brains, and then showed people colors. And these are the exact colors that that made people feel th like they were that their grandmas right. were still Apple alive. You're right. Apple has done its homework on this in a way that I can't even fathom. Yes. But I'm just saying, 
just in the abstract, one that combines uh, gold and royal blue, I just wouldn't think to myself, that's the combo right there. Eh, let him, let him, let him, let him. Listen, let him. again, I have, I have this, um, this blue one, scuba blue. Yeah. Um, and again, I like it. It looks nice. I just, I find this texture thing fascinating. But, you know, they did a good job, of course, of making this product not only like feel different because of the, the, the nylon material, but look different compared to uh, the other straps that, that they offer for the Apple Watch. I really, I mean, honestly, I think that Apple gets not enough credit for what it does in the Apple Watch. I really don't think that enough people praise them because this is, this is a complicated feat. No, they've 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 created watches in a way that they've built watches in a way that nobody else can do, and because because they have a lot of money, I mean just because just because you got like your you got four tourbillons on a thing doesn't mean you're getting all premium premium materials, but you're getting premium materials and you're getting a good watch that everybody's going to wear. I don't know. We'll, 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 we can we can talk about this. Okay. Forever. All right. So um, we're gonna we're gonna end this one up and probably do another one immediately, but. Um, when we sort of come back with a show, we are thinking about doing an hour long, but for these sort of little beta tests to see how this goes, we're going to stick it to 30 minutes. Um, so we'll see you next time. All right. We'll see you next time.